Hello dear friends, this is Dr. Mahmoud Ahmed Islam. Welcome to my channel. In my previous videos, I showed how to fit interparticle division model non-linear fitting using MS Excel Solver and Origin Pro. These videos have been very popular. Therefore, in this video, I would like to show you how to fit linear intraparticle division model using Excel. So, in order to fit, I have taken data for time and amount adsorbed at time t, and I am using Excel 2013 version. Well, Intraparticle division model can be written as qt equal to q division into t to the power half plus c, where qt is the amount adsorbed at time t, k division is the uh, interparticle division model constant, and t is the root square of time, and c is the intercept and constant. So, in order to fit linear, we need to co uh, convert time t into uh, square root. So, in order to do this, just write equal to then bracket, then square root, then a2, then click enter and scroll down this so here is your square root values now in order to plot you need to select these two and it go to insert then go to here then scatter so here is your plot but you need to select t half as x axis and qt as y axis. In order to do that just select this and right click then go to select data. So then click on edit. So your x value will be this one. Then your y value will be this one. Then OK. Then OK. So here is your plot. Then click on plot. Then click on plus. Then you can put t so see axis title is here you can write for example t to the power half and here it is q t milligram by gram. Then select this and click on plus sign. Then click on trend line and click on this linear and more option. So trend line option is linear and then tick on display equation on chart and display r square value on chart. So here is your r square value and this is the equation. So from intercept we see that t we see that k division equal to 0 0.9484 and c equal to this but you need to consider this as positive value because c is positive value 
So this is how you can easily fit linear interparticle diffusion model and after some modification you can easily make it publication quality. In my next video I will show you how to fit other models using Excel or Origin Pro. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe Aminul Cam Innovation.